Right, there's some Chris back here again. Five seconds later, and now I'm still A. Oh, look, it's got exactly the same office in the background. Still oh, can't blame them. And what I'm going to do is um, spawn a ship. I'll spawn something different. I know you've got Auroras, I'll spawn something different. I'll go to Grim Hex. Uh, oh, we'll try the black. The black's been spawning for me without doors. All you do is make a claim. Give it a go. If you want to support the game and you want to contribute more money to it, uh, feel free. One of the ways of doing it is by buying a different ship. All these ships will be available in game soon. Uh, until the game is fully released, though, any ship you buy in game, you have to earn the money, buy the ship, and then when we go to a different version, like we're going 314 here, there was a 313 and a 312 and a 311 and a 310, um, everything gets wiped. We will lose that ship. Not talking about REC at the moment, I'll talk about wreck. And this has got a back door, yay! So here's the cutlass black. I reckon this is the best all round ship. Okay. Got some cute little things, but this is obviously the sort of uh, dual ship. Pretty, pretty ship. Let me put the torch on. No difference. Oh, of course I'm in the wrong, I'm in a flight suit. Always work the top. So, there are side doors which are very good for loading in space. The rear ramp, the only problem with the rear ramps is people can run up them and steal your ship after shooting them in the head. So, that's why I like the freelancer, it's got this side door. This is the best sort of all-rounder ship. This is a very good ship for combat, uh, cargo. There's a close button. The thing's locked already. What it looks like if I put the torch on? Nothing. All right, okay. This is the cargo area, but notice this door. By the way, this is the side door here. Open. Oops. Yep, pretty cool. This door will eventually be lockable, so you can actually put people in the back without them letting them come in the front. There is a turret here. So, this turret is not slaved, which means you can't operate it from a pilot seat. You have to be in it. And, you know, that means you need a teammate. Or in the future, AI, it's not lighting up. Uh, I don't think I've got any power on the ship. So the power on the turret will come up. Oh, that's cool. So I'm essentially in the top turret there. Put the Z thing on. Not there. It's not unlocked yet. But uh, I can't fire. Hopefully. There it is. That's our view there. Go down. H to get out. And there's a bed here for that logging out thing. We know it doesn't work properly yet. Little bed there. Not the bother. There's another one. There's two beds. And there's this lovely sort of um, tandem area. Uh, but I'm going to get the pilot seat. You'll notice that the pilot seat gets raised, and so does the other one. I'm now going higher up in the ship. So now I can light ready. Sometimes pauses are handy. Shield the building. Not that I could see them, I was hoping I would see them, but on the left hand panel you see the building. And they're strong enough now, so in fact what a lot of people do is they do their destination before they take off. So if I go here. And all this off, I pull out. Grim Hex is at yellow. 
And yellow is this fella here. Click on yellow. That is desperation. It's not that far away. But, um, it's not the best server in the world. Oh. Oh, if I go down a bit. I'm gonna land. Alright, oh, I'm not gonna land. I'm gonna show you a nice little trick. There it is. So if I go B. <laughs> That's interesting. Didn't complete. Now fire things. There's a shed load of missiles on here. Give me missiles are working today. Yeah, that's quite close. I like the uh, I like yellow. Yeah, some nice plant life down there. Always worth looking at the uh, good situation. So basically, the um, I, my yellow is the focus of my. Um, Navigation, so I can see the orbital markers. OM3 is all lit up. That means OM4 is going to be on the dark side, which is not what I want. So, oh, there's OM4. Okay, let's go look at OM4. OM4's got nothing to do with Grim Hex. I'm just going there because there's this drugs lab. <sighs> oh my god. That was close. We'll look down, hopefully I'll see Oh yes. Oh so Mr Bond. I look that way I can see there's two islands if I rotate. So there's a third island. Not an island, it's ice basically in there, but and just up there. Drugs lab. And it's so worth going to. There we go. I'm aiming at these two sort of uh, blobs just up here. I've done a video showing uh, how to sell drugs and kill people. Funny. By uh, standard star citizen um, playlist as opposed to the just Guinness Guide stuff. So I'm going to go as fast as I can. Remember the Aurora did about 1220? This is slower. Yep, as fast as it's going to go. Partly because the Aurora is a smaller ship. Uh, a little over a kilometre second. I'm using the line just going up from that left hand front turret. Then up from there there's a line on the uh I'll be so I know that um so yeah, I do, do watch some of my videos, which is hugely flattering.
So if you look at the the nose of the ship, then you go to the right of the forward wing, you'll see that you know the forward wing has a sort of side panel facing forward. If you follow that, you'll see the little white island on the right of the three islands, the rightmost island. If you go up from there, there's a sort of line. If I can do it. Ah, there we go. So there's, there's, I'm following this line. There's, a, there's an island there. It's not an island, but it looks like one. And we go up, and there's this sort of morass area. Above this morass area is these two blobs. That blob, right where the pointer is, is where you want to land. That's where the drug lab is. You don't want to land at a kilometre a second. You want to land at uh, like five metres a second, maybe. Uh, so we need to slow down before we get there. This is this mysterious line that's showing up. I think that's only because we've got the outside view. It turns. I've got to click on it. All right. So anyway, I'm trying to aim for that lobby island there. Bouncing oh, range, sorry. Just there. Now, the approach is impossible at the moment in night time. So, since every time I come to Yellow, I have a look to see if I can get there. Often, there's already a ship there that's taken all the Widow uh, drug. Why Widow? Um, it's a great name, isn't it? Um, should put you off drugs. I personally have never needed drugs. Uh, in my life, apart from obviously like antibiotics and like that. Um, but it's the only one that consistently gives you a reasonable return. Um, all I've got to do is fly this up to Grim Hex, which is where I'm going anyway. And then I gotta sell it, and selling it's a difficult thing because uh, you can only sell it in small quantities, and the price will change. You sell it again. That's why you can only sell it in small quantities so they can change the price. That's to reflect the fact that you're selling it. Central. So let's see if I can X and shift. I'm tempted, I must say. Go over to contact. Ah, contact. All right, let's press T. It's a bad guy, but he's 50 kilometers away. He's in a cutlass black. Coming underneath me. Right, I'm going to switch to the uh, joystick. Oh, you mouse and keyboard people, but I'm going to the joystick. I'm going to bring my nose back up. There's the uh, mountain I want just there. Sit and throttle coming in. And let's boost it. Sounds like my back door's just opened or something. We used to have this lovely little fan in the cup that's black, and now we've got this sort of grid thing on the uh, the right that looks like a speaker. Right, I'm fairly close. But I don't need to go to full speed because I'm going to need to slow it down anyway. But take a long look at this approach. Just over that little ridge. So it's over. That ridge just. It's actually fairly easy to locate. 
Uh, it's easier to locate once you're here at night because it's lit up. This is it. You press U. Uh, you sometimes see there's a ship there. This one has gone in and stolen all the way down. That's what kind of player you are. If you've got, if you know, your voice is broken or you're a lady or whatever, and you're not going to grief people, then don't shoot these people. They're just you know, trying to trade in this game. It's all about developing this game, learning how to play. The community is really great. Obviously, we have people who want to be pirates, which is not a problem. I'm going to lower my undercarriage. I think I think it's just over this bridge here. There it is. On the left. I think that's my shadow. Yeah. That's my shadow. Oh, is it? No, it's not. Oh dear. You have another cut that's black. So let's bring it down. Oh, I'm a bit wonk on the rocks there. Take a look. That's the guy running in. He knows I could shoot him. Still fucking. I'm not here to make money, I'm here to show you guys how to play the game. The power off. H to lower the C. Just a bit like. And open. I remember, I mean, uh, I got no, I don't got no weapon mounted at all. Me, good shoot, man. And depending how wealthy he is, this guy could actually literally just strip out all of the. There he is. Shut your door. Good. It might blow my ship up. That's okay. All part of the game. So he'll be going to Grimhex to flog his widow. So here's the trading thing, you want to buy, so select location, there's my black. You want to select widow, you have to click on it. Quite cheap, and there was some. Uh, purchase. Gotta wait to see if this guy's taken off. That's a good idea, let's see if this guy's taken off and gone away. I don't want to purchase widow and then have my ship blown. Only widow for him and me, so I don't know how much he bought. That's not a good look. Oh, I'm going to go for it. You know, I'm going to do it the right way. 
Oh, I'll go pressurize them. Yeah. Oh. I have 12,266 alpha UEC. I could buy a lot, but what you should do is buy half. Let's make it 7,000. Five of those. This is how you trade properly. Yeah. Low temperature by 12,000. Doesn't matter. Got it. And so that will sell for about 11,000. Making 50% profit. Look at the look at uh, Usada. That's how they find it. That little um, red nebula is going to be one of the places we can go to when the game's finished. Hopefully. Hopefully. And we'll see when we get in that there's cargo in fact. Door. Don't get underneath it, especially when you only got your um, light suit on. Jump. Face bars jump. Oh, of course, we've not got the um, torch working on the suit. There's some, there's my um, crates in there. I can carry 46 of those in this piece. What? Compared to the three of your aurora. Oh, ain't opening. Right. I have to be able to get through that, don't Used to be a ladder, you know. They've gone. Question. Door. Not opening. Oh hell! This is how you lose money, guys. I'm glad I didn't go for the um. Twelve thousand. Oh, this could be a server crash. If it's a server crash, I will have the opportunity. To restore. Third. Making sure there is no ladder on that side anymore, is there? Yeah, there used to be a ladder that you can get up onto the wing. Very fine. And what you'll find in trading. Oh, yay! Getting to sleep quick.
I don't know, maybe going outside gave you the interior opportunity to be refreshed. Shields coming up. You've not got the patience for this kind of thing. Don't play this. Go and play something else. Come back when she's more finished. So that guy had pulled up and he pulled up so far he was going in the other opposite direction. Again, now let's go F1. Yeah, that's interesting. Kind of zoomed in a bit. Go to my position. And there's Hex. Where am I? That's my destination. The Hex is in the asteroid ring around the um, moon. Obscure at the moment because I'm not. Oh no, no, I should be right. No, I'm not obscure. That one in the middle, right at the top. I know that because it was orange a second ago, which is obscure because I wasn't high enough. I'm following it. There it is. And the only problem with this is even if I put the undercarriage down, it will raise the undercarriage. So I got to I got to learn to slow down in a rush here. Otherwise you tend to go battering into right. F1. Get yourself a landing bay and then if the server crashes you shouldn't lose your cargo. Now sometimes you hear voices, sometimes you get video. Really? I don't think so. Right, so uh, you're surrounded by rocks. Press 5, make sure your front lamps are on. And roughly looking at that. Right. It's Grim Hex. It's not an easy place to get to. She's not an easy place to land. Uh, funky. I'm being too cautious. There's my spike, I just saw the spike. What did I? That's it. There's the spike. There. That's the landing spike. You need to be on the, on the line, or certainly on the, by, by the triangle. You let her auto land, because auto landing is another point. The way it accepts the auto landing, it really has taken your ship and manifest into the database but you die the server dies should not lose anything when you're trading that's the only time it really matters to be honest there's the other guy's cutlass black That shows I've got my lights on for PS5 again, the lights go on. Go on and off. There, right, turn the power off. Now this is not my favourite ship for doing this because of having to do the rear um 
think I could jump out of side door and break my legs and need administration from the uh, doctors, but the guy could run in right now if I do this. I'll quickly have to load a gun. I'm going to do the door instead. Straight out onto the side. Quick. Hopefully, no one got in. Upwards is always a good route. We used to be able to be shot this stage. Ah, it's Connie taking off. Ooh, that funky. Ah, there's a reclaimer there. I like the size of the reclaimer. Can't land there. No way, Jose. Probably going to try to land, but honestly. Now, I've got a, a black there, right? So what I'm going to do is stick it in storage by spawning another ship. Three the Gladius. Which is, I've only ever used to... Took my other ships away, so... I will no longer see a thing on my screen saying... Look, it's black. It will say that... Uh, Somewhere. Oh, there it is. This is my Gladius. Gladius? Let's see if they're trying to land that Retaliator. Not Retaliator, Reclaimer. So, this is now, uh, I'm pretty sure. It's the Nostromo, isn't it? Let's face it, that is the Nostromo. If you don't know what the Nostromo is, um, you're probably very young and don't want to have nightmares. I watch an alien. Oh, I love that ship. So, on the Grim Hex, it's a bunch of loosely tied together by steel wires, uh, asteroids, which can be mined. The name. Grim Hex is a bastardization of this. So that's Green Imperial Hex, that's it. It became Grim Hex because the signs all screwed up. Honestly, I think it's cause and effect. I think um, signs screwed up. And therefore, they screwed all the other signs up, so they all just say Scrim Hex now. So, this is where I've just come in on one of the um, landing pads. And this is the ship retrieval console. Over here, there's something interesting. Uh, oh, not on that one. Let's pop down the stairs here. All says Grim Hex. We used to be able to change our suits here. That's now uh, defunct. Try that one. Yeah, can't do it. Get my atmosphere and buy a, and buy a, a door. No, I've still got full atmosphere, that's good. So I could take my helmet off. So you should have an explore. In fact, I'll come back to this level. Right, I'm going to start in the heart of the place. So we're going to take a lift downstairs after we look at this sad indictment to uh, bring Big Benny's noodles. If you open the door and it doesn't look like this, don't step in because the lift isn't there. 
Very industrial. It'd be better if I can have a torch. Right. At the base of the elevator is a bar. That one. And in this bar... Yeah. You should be able to meet people get mission the uh, round door. I bet he's a mission giver in the future. H to get out of the seat. Not seen him before. Yeah, it's not a great big bar, this is a little bar. Um, come back to this bar through different routes. But over here is a mission pad from the original mission to find uh, Big Benny's Henge, the Big Benny's Machine Stone Henge creation. Uh, it still flags up, but um, yeah, mate, you got great with your man bun. bun. So, so. Okay, so there's the, if we start off with the bar being the, the starting point and this being the main door, you got the lifts either side. Star Citizen always claim that the lifts are real, they have mechanical parts. I think for optimization purposes that's stupid. Uh, they should have removed all the parts. But theoretically if you're in the right place you could see the the mechanics were in every time something goes up and down in the lift. Come up here. And there's a wreck. Yeah. And the first place I'm going to do is show you where to sell your widow since we've got some widow. And it's over here. And as I said, there's a dude here and we don't want to talk to him. Need something? Yeah, you're moving your lips. Crazy boy. Oh, he's telepathic. I don't want to even hear what he said there. So you need to work. So this is one of the places you'll get missions to drop off stuff here. And you'll talk to him and then that will become active. Anyway, there's four consoles. Now these consoles are like ZX81 kind of graphics. And uh, we want to sell. And the only thing I've got is the black. Which has got five SC. Now, 27, that's a good price. If I try to sell it all, it won't work. Is that sure? It says success, but it says undefined. You watch. That means you've not sold it, so ignore that. And you'll find that this is the thing you've got 400 and something there. Oh my goodness. 418, that were five cargo units, so they're not completely full. And you could try to sell half. And it says success. Oh, good, that's good. Sometimes it won't let you sell half. Sometimes, I mean, I did one recently, I had to do like 35 transactions of like 20 units each. Try half again, so that's half the size of what we just did. Now, not let me do it. Price has not changed. That's interesting. Let's try 17 units. That's successful. You see our units going down here. Still 27. That's a great price. For 16 to buy. About 28 units. Oh, we're doing all right. Down to 158 units up here. Let's see if you can see that a bit better. Still 27. So the price is not changing. That is interesting. 
Try for half of what we got. 84 units are one worth. Yeah, I'm defined. Just a success every time. Yeah, got 36 out the door, down 122. Oh, I have to make sure that's selected. A lot of people say it's broken, and what they've done is they just haven't selected what they're trying to sell. Undefined. Try less. Nine units. Yeah. Sometimes a good idea when you get like this is walk away from that one and go to another one. I've got two, so I've sold basically 300 units off or whatever. I, oh, that's on buy, I want to go sell. I do persist doing this because it's worth it. I don't want to really switch the game off with cargo in it. Um, that work. 90 units left, that's by half of that. Under half, that's it. Yeah. 61 units. Price is 924, so that's good. Shows it's an effect. Well, you can only smell small chunks because it's such a valuable product. You don't want to be able to sell a billion at one large price, you see. Remember, I bought it at uh, 16 point something. Now I've got 12 units left. Let's try the lot. Twelve units at twenty-two. So I now have forty-six cargo space. Total cargo space forty-six, forty-six. So I've sold everything. I had twelve thousand. I've now got sixteen thousand and forty-two. I bought seven thousand worth. So that's why I trade in Widow. That's why if I ever go to Yeller, I go and have a look at the outpost and see if I can buy something. And the because you were watching, I made sure I did the perfectly good thing of uh, only buying, spending half my money. We had a moment where I couldn't get in that I thought I was going to... Um, Lose my money. Okay, so that's where you trade the stuff. So there's a lift. Now, there's a dude called Ruto who is a mission giver, and yet I'm not quite sure what the parameters are for getting missions from him. But people say that you can only talk to this guy once in a, in a, in a whole server. Only one person can talk to this dude, and I find I can always talk to him back here. And it's a hologram of the president. This terminal is experiencing technical difficulties. We apologize for any inconvenience. Looks sincere, doesn't he? Yeah, it's a hologram. It's one of the current mission givers. And now he's not saying boy. Uh Yeah. Very exciting. I gather Gimhex is a bit of a mess. Now what I'm going to do is, now, I'm, now I've sold all my stuff off, is I'm going to kill myself. I do that by pressing the left alt and the backspace key. Here I am, alt backspace, and there we go. 
Oh, I should wake up at the. I want to get you the wake up experience. So first of all, you see red, you see GH, River Clue. Look forward, and the door opening is on the left. It's on the right on the side. It's on the left here. Certainly, completely on the left, but certainly left. Yeah? These passwords and things. Uh, date of birth of uh, some of the developers' children. That's true. Probably their real passwords, so I may not. Yes, toilet roll does exist in Star Citizen, even if it does. Any? Anyway, so once again, hold F, click. Off we go. There are in fact um, remnants of that mission on one of these. Some of these are open. I'm run up the stairs, just to have a quick look, see if this is the one with the... It's all to do with that Benny's Henge. There is a sand roller uniform thing. Very Star Warsy. Yeah, no, this isn't it. Worth a lot. So, if you wake up, you might be on this floor, you might be floor below like we were. And. Man bun again. Oh, he's got a nice t-shirt though. Always looks a bit Devo-ish, that. And we come out. Didn't press anything to do that, just waited. And we're a habitat floor, there's a guy going down there. And basically what's on this floor, habitats. And if we go down. And then down. We're back on this floor, so there's the bar again, so forth. Now we've just been to see Ruto, who was off here, where I sold Widow. No crime state, because this is a uh, crime stat because in Hex. So, we're going to go over this way and see. My personal favourite clothing place. Um, decent t-shirt. There's the uh, guy's t-shirt. Place melter here. Uh, I don't give a foot wash thing. Um, great t So what I'm going to do is. Um, I'm not. What I'm going to do is I'm going uh, I usually buy them all. Buy these. What shall we get? Yeah, that kind of suits, suits the look, doesn't it? Yeah. So, uh, face mounter. I'm not going back on that one. Of course, no, I don't go. I like that one. I do like the lies one. Lies on. That's not rocking the look I want today, so today I'm going to buy the this one. Um, I 
Confirm purchase. Equip. Exit. Look at myself, I am still in my spacesuit. So, oh, Mr. Bond, I am going to. Yeah, keep my spacesuit on. The lovely guy over here, we used to be able to push this guy around and push him in the spaceship all sorts of places. Kind of put him in a place where you can't push him around anymore. Yeah. Realize you could That's pretty much everything we got. Talking to me now. I'm going away with you. But there's um, some semi deep. Yeah. Been better if I'd have got the doing thing. I like them. Expensive, but we're gonna get them. So in a couple of weeks when we get three two, I will only in the abyss and have to start again. I'm going to try on. I'm after a particular look. Don't know why. I am. So even though I'm going to equip now, I've got my suit on, so I shouldn't be able to see it. If I go into my do. Yeah. You just see the undersuit at the moment. Oh, come on. The look I've been going for. But this is a great place to buy stuff. Oh, it does not look like the jacket I was looking at, yes? Okay. I want to buy it. Right that kind of goes with the hair, but I'm not having it. I know exactly what jacket I want. Uh, I think the trousers are pretty reasonable. Bit bondage. Ah. I'm gonna leave it as it is. Sounds I'm looking at quite good. Um ooh, the one I want. Uh, I don't know what his name says, but oh, he's got little highlights. Hmm. That's it.
Oh. That's the one for me. I've got my undersuit off. Got the clothing. There is a top hat available. Face welfare. Just there. Gloves. No gloves. So it's dark, so I put one in bedrock anyway. Oh, some. No change in the grip. Yeah, I'll do. That's better than the damn stuff you get at Olive Sound, isn't it? I usually buy, and I often wear, until we had the Mohawk, you know, because we were all bald before. We could buy this lovely red bandana. That looks quite a good one. So, just in case I go through any area where without oxygen. Uh, and then I put on my put on the box standard you get okay there's another exit that is that shop. Now, unlike Olisar, on the second floor, it is firstly possible to jump off and fall to your death here. Try not to. And oxygen's there, but it's a bit dodgy. Up over here. And this is where you buy the Hockey Mask suit, new can't see where I'm going suit, heavy bad guy, and the quite popular duster, so this sand dweller kind of outfit. Uh, I have been known to buy the helmet and on the whole suit. A whole different look, isn't it? The whole thing is you can rock individual parts of it, so you don't have to buy the whole. So look at the helmet. Helmet is eight. Is Buy it. I'll go confirm purchase. I'll go quit now. Looks ridiculous. Oh. Um. Oh, so helmets under armour. 
Ventura one, and I've got the microid battle suit helmet, which is interesting. I often wear a gold suit and this helmet so my teammates can get who I Other other people tend to rock. I've lost my hair. Different weapons, usually the better weapons are here. Oh yeah, come on, let's get a real gun. This is the biggest puppy currently. That's it. 5,000. Yes, this will shoot down ships extremely badly. Yeah, most of it, that looks good, yeah? They're showing you how to extend it. Oh, go on, I'll buy it. A lot of money. Carrying this alone. A lot of weight. All my profit master run. So I have to go in and select weapon. I'll tell you what before I do. That's the railgun in it. 58 8 UC. Just so. Cool. It's not the ship buster it wants to be. I'm selecting the. Yeah, I'm looking at my circle there. I've got the um, spare. Save changes and exit. One or this year. I'm looking around in the team, everyone will be able to spot me. You should have firing ranges here. With a good wagon in my face, yeah. Oh, I see. Back area, aren't on. Go this way. So, uh, shops and the bar. We've done the bar. We didn't do the bar behind the bar, did we? Bar's down there. The clothing shop. Pretty neat. Not far out, was it? Yeah, okay, let's do it the other way. Go in the bar and go out the back. In my heart rate's going up, just because I'm looking at this stupid gun around. Alright, uh, downhill. Oh, 
Oh, it's a router, yeah? Cool. So you all sort of, you know, you want to explore this area. What we should do is come to an airlock. Here it is. Which means we're going outside, which means it's a very good idea to be wearing a spacesuit. Oh, and I'm weightless. Over here. Fly down here. Most people don't bother going to areas like this in the game uh, because Still over here. I used to be able to shoot in these areas. They made a kind of good little. Before we had the star marine, basically. No, it's actually car gun. And a man will. Torch would have been good. Oh, the torch is on now. That's why there's a change in suit. Always change your suit, yeah. Theoretically, if I could pick this stuff up, I could sell it upstairs. Go through this thing. More than one way to do what I'm about to do. We're out. You say that. We're going to draw a weapon. There's those big flashy metal ties that hang the rocks together. I think this is the underside of Grim Hex. See the advantage of having that. Porch. Give you an example. That's a brilliant demonstration, Chris. Unintended. I'm not, I'm so sure what I'm looking at.
Those are the tethers that are out to the asteroid. Ships are on the landing. The landing pad too, which is the big one. Which, that's the main airlock. Where I want to be, really. I have to be careful there. I need to be a lot lower. <gasps> oh. Uh, let's put it sideways first. Seems to be stuck somewhere. Oh. Face down. Kill myself. So the answer is yes. Well, yes, I have my gun. There's another way outside I want to show you. a lot of people waiting for your grim hex so you want to sneak in more than one way down it so here's the elevators obviously that's the main landing pad airlock we were looking at there's the tip choices came along and I showed you the grim hex sign up here but if I carry on forward Not the best server, but as I say, welcome to the Alpha. Cycling, pressure. Oh well, that's work in progress. You'll have to go out that yourself. It's another way out is to sneak your way in. And you know how to find it. Hey.
go back again. Oh well, that takes you out another way, and it's worth getting to know that one. Okay, so uh, um, I'm going to end this one and start off again in about 30 seconds. So this is Citizen Chris signing off. What I'm about to do is go to Levski. Yeah, you like Levski? Yeah, it's on Delamar. Okay, so have a good one. And uh, hopefully I'll see you in 10 seconds. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, the next one.